Assembly, I've discussed it uh, with the clerk and the speaker, and I can confirm to you that the county assembly 
has got plans of coming down to the residents to get their own independent uh, data and information that will help them to make a decision as to what was there in the petition. So as I have a mandate of legislation, I'm ensuring that whatever was there in the petition is discussed well and we get amicable uh, solutions or measures to address uh, those issues. So that's what I'm doing, but on the ground, the Wanainchi are there. And they have to decide their fate, not any politician deciding for them. We've also realized uh, that there are few about uh, uh, the world manager and some three, four boys who are being used uh, to try to bring chaos. I'm telling them that they don't have the monopoly of violence. And if there's anybody who thinks that they can bring chaos so that he can be allowed to come at East Game, let him continue making those phone calls. We will meet. The land belongs to the people of East Game. The decision will remain with them. Once we've gotten the report of prospecting from the Shanta company, the entire East Game will sit down and will decide their fate. We have professionals, we have technocrats who will advise our people. As of now, I can confirm that Shanta company has got no license for mining and they will only attend that license once the community, the residents of Ramula, Uranga and East Game have sat down and have made an agreement. So all things that people are making noise up and down, let them continue making noise, but I want to tell them that we will meet them at the right time. When the issue of Shanta Gold came up, the Shanta company uh, uh, had a, 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 a tendency of meeting leaders in hotels without getting the consent of the Mwanainji, who is the landowner. So the previous barazas, I advised them that uh, uh, as an individual, I cannot decide the fate of people's land. As at now, let them engage with the Wanainchi directly without a broker getting in between. Because I don't have a control over your land. You have the title lead, I don't have a control over your land. And as at now, I can confirm nobody has been relocated. And if there is any plan of relocation, that is something that the villagers will discuss themselves. If I say no and somebody is willing to give his land, what will happen? And if I say yes and they are not willing, so it is not my mandate to decide who sells his land to who. But the decision lies on the landowners who are the residents of East Game, and I insist the residents of East Game. And if there is anybody, and I am saying this, if there is anybody that I know is trying to bring a little chaos so that he can get sympathy, let them just try. We will we, we'll meet. Let us be careful with the activities of Shanta in Ramola. And let us be careful with the activities of the village elders in Ramola. Because when the village elders were formed, there's supposed to be a go between between uh, the community and Shanta. So that they get information from them and we analyze whether they are good for the community or not. But as at now, the village elders went into bed with the Shanta. And actually, whichever time they meet in any kind of meeting, they get alliance from Shanta. So whoever pays the piper usually determines the tune. So we won't have that kind of discussion. And this is the best time to, to have it in front of the of the public. My name is Bernardo Chiang. I'm the coordinator of Twajibike uh, CBO, which is a local organization uh, trying to create space for community to ventilate on their issues regarding environment and also advocacy uh, matters. This morning we had planned for uh, a big community meeting where we expected community to come and uh, have a discussion on the issues regarding uh, Shanta Gold. Uh, Shanta is a, a multinational company that is planning to do mining in this area. But there are so many questions that communities have. Uh, there are many things that are still not clear on what Shanta wants to do. 
and how that is going to impact on different people in different categories. And therefore, we are trying to create space for people to come and ask questions, and get information so that they are clear on what they can, the stand that they can take regarding gold mining in, in this area. This is something that has never happened here before. It's something new. It has shocked many people, and we really have to engage with people so that they are able to get uh, clarity and, and the effects of what this could entail uh, in their life and also in their future for them to get a uh, proper stand. But because uh, uh, we had planned up to yesterday, today morning we got uh, information from authorities, the OCS from Yala, advising that we cannot proceed with that meeting uh, citing insecurity concerns, which was not explained to us why they have gone that direction. But because we had a law-abiding organization and we didn't want to expose the people, we, we, we thought it it's wise that we hold on for now, but we are still planning we are going to get back with many cities of Barazas that communities will be able to engage and address the issues that they have, uh, uh, they are concerned with about Shanta mining uh, that is planning to do mining in this area. Uh, what we are saying as the people of Ramula is that there are mining procedures and protocols. The Mining Act is very clear when uh, an, a multinational company comes into your area. We are convinced, we are aware that Shanta has not followed any of those regulations. Shanta has not seeked our consent in free here so that we can accept that this is something we can go into or it's something that is too dangerous for us. What we do here is Shanta wants to introduce open cast mining here. That means they will open up the earth and a lot of us will be displaced. And every time there is a community displacement in a place which is as densely populated as Ramula, the cost is too heavy compared to what we want to get from the mining. And even our government that wants tax should be aware that it will be too costly to displace 10,000 people, uh, families, to pave way for mining for taxes which are negligible. Where will these 10,000 families go to, given the situation in game? Who will compensate them? Why are we not having this conversation openly, daily, that is led by professionals and the villagers here because we have leadership? And so we are surprised that our leadership, even when there's something as important as this, are not appearing to do their duty. That is why we wanted to have this meeting. Going forward, we are going to continue to have these meetings. We have written a petition to the county assembly. We will petition the Senate as the law requires. We will do everything that is there within our power to raise these issues until uh, the truth is put on the table. Jena yangu ni Jane Omwon ni mama hapa Ramola sublocation na nataka nisembe juu ya kwanza nimeshukuru siku siku hii ya leo kwa group ya tuwajibike kwa kufanya leo tulikuwa tukae pamoja na Tuonge kama community ya Ramula, lakini tukienda, tukapata uh, meeting imekua cancelled na security. Ni sawa, lakini mimi nimesimama upande wa kanisa. Nimesema hapa kanisa, Ramula, tuko na makanisa mengi. Hata ni saidi ya 15 churches around Ramula here. Mto Awa, awa, hizi machaches zetu. Yani sasa tukitolewa hapa, tutapelekwa wapi. Hizi makanisa zetu, tutaiziacha na mnagani. Itakuwa na mnagani. Na sisi tutaenda, tuki, tuki, tu, tukienda kwa makanisa gani. Na atujui hata tutaenda wapi. Nimesema mimi ni muze. Kama nimetolewa hapa, kwa wakati huu, naweza kukua mgeni wanani. Nani atanipea samba. Na hii game yote hata mkiona. Hakuna pali mtu anaesa hata kukupatia uh, pali padogo ukae. Na hata mimi siyo niko peke yangu. Niko na watoto. Niko na watu wengi. Kwa hivu hata siwesi nikatoka hapa. Niende pale na niende peke yangu. Lazima niende na watu wangu. Nitaenda na wao wapi. Kwa hivu nasema. 
kwa niaba ya makanisa ya Ramula tumekataa hii mambo ya Santa Santa wametutembelea usiku wanatembelea usiku hizi maneno zao ni za usiku sisi kama kanisa hatutaki vitu za usiku tunataka wakuje mchana vile tuliweka mkutano leo walikuwa wakuje waseme vile wanaitaka ndio tusikizane ikiwa itawezekana ama haiwezekani lakini kwa wakati huu tunasema haiwezekani tumekataa